Hey everybody, Tim Corpus here, and we're back looking at Touch OSC. Today, we're gonna connect Touch OSC with an iPad to Cubase, and I'm using Cubase Elements 11, uh, because that's really all I could download. So we're gonna connect them, and then we're going to use Touch OSC uh, to work with an EQ through the iPad as opposed to using your mouse. So setting something up like this where you use an EQ through Touch OSC to impact your DAW, uh, it's great and you can do it across quite a few DAWs. As you've seen from the last couple of videos, I've been showing how to connect Touch OSC to different DAWs. There are a few that are giving me a lot of trouble, but most can do this exact thing and it's just about setting up your MIDI Learn. Now I already have Touch OSC open, the editor on my PC, and I've got it open on my iPad. Now if you need help setting up just the general like communication between Touch OSC and your computer, head back to videos one and two to learn more about that. So here we are, this is the editor. I've already got uh, myself connected here and the iPad is connected. So what we're gonna do today, let's start with an XY. And let's get an encoder. And then we're gonna make another one. And now if you were working with your EQ, you would probably want more than just the few that I'm showing you. But this is just one example of how you can set up Touch OSC to work with your EQ. All right, so let's make these guys different color. And this is going to be how we deal with our uh, EQ. So let's set this up. We're gonna go ahead and go with two, one for the X axis. And then for the Y axis, let's go with two, two. And now for this encoder, let's go with two, three. And now we're gonna set up the second set just exactly the same with the next set of numbers. So we have on our X axis will be, I think we're at two, four. And on the Y, we'll go with two, five. And then this will be two, six. Pretty straightforward. Now you'll see what we're gonna do here once we get into Cubase. All right, so that's all we need to set up in Touch OSC, and that was building our template for working with the EQ. Also, you may be able to hear chewing right now. That's my dog in the other room chewing a bone. So setting up in Cubase is super simple, as nice and easy as Digital Performer 11 or Ableton Live. So here you can see I've already downloaded and installed Cubase Elements, and this is just a base project for uh, piano and vocals. Nothing special going on here. Nothing else has been set up. The crazy thing that I discovered when I did this was let's go to studio and then studio setup is that it already had in the MIDI everything else I've been using with all these other DAWs. So it can already see the things that I've been working with, which is terrific. So I didn't really have to load anything in, it just was there and it works. So here we have our Touch OSC bridge. And of course, hopefully you already have clicked the button to activate that. And let's go down to track quick controls. And this is where we set up MIDI Learn in Cubase. So what we're gonna do is first, let's go back to Touch OSC. And the reason we're doing this is because we wanna turn off the Y axis. Let's disable the Y axis for right now. Okay, so now that we have the Y axis turned off, we're going to select the uh, control one and MIDI learn. And now we're gonna move our red XY box on the X axis, so left and right. And you see that changed to two one. Now let's go back to touch OSC, select our XY, and we're going to disable X and enable Y. Back to Cubase, number two. We're all, we already have learn on, so let's move on the Y axis and you can see that this is working. 
Now let's hit number three. And you can see it set that up. We're gonna do the same for all the rest of these. So let's head back to Touch OSC and we're going to enable the X axis on our red box and then disable the Y axis on our blue box. Moving our blue box, we can see that's set to 2.4. This is super simple. Now that was a kind of slow back and forth click and move the MIDI controller uh, in between Touch OSC and the uh, Cubase MIDI Learn system. Of course, if you already know your MIDI numbers, you could just plug those in. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to set that up. Okay, so we've got them set up. Turn off Learn, click OK, and we're good to go. Let's go to our piano here, and let's take a look at the EQ. So here's our EQ. And what we're gonna do is add ourselves Let's get two nodes to control. And here on the left hand side, you can see um, you could also have added stuff this way. And this is a nice kind of simple way to see things. So now let's click on the frequency here and we're going to select MIDI slot two. And now slot one and slot three. And then for this spot, we're going to go slot four, the gain, slot five, and then the last one, slot six. So let's pull up our EQ. And now if we were to move left and right on our red box, you can see, or up and down, we're moving the one node, same on our blue. And you can see that. And then we have this little... Uh, encoder on top uh, we don't have things set up for that to do <laughs> anything uh, but it would if we did but we can see it moving the parameters are changing so setting that up was super simple basically the MIDI learn in Cubase elements which I'm assuming is the same in Cubase Pro uh, is very intuitive to whatever you're setting up in touch OSC so you could set up uh, four different bands if you wanted to to have control over the nodes in touch OSC you could also set up just a, a array of different faders or encoders and control your EQ that way I'd recommend you know figuring out what's best for you uh, what's best for your template in terms of size and shape um, and figure out how you best want to use it I love the XY encoders because it's nice to look at a band and be able to see how it moves um, and it's kind of nice that where you leave it on your touch OSC um, on the grid there, it kind of shows you where you're at. So hopefully you can also use this trick in any other doll you're working with. Um, let me know how you use it or if you find any other better ways to control an EQ. So hopefully this helps with your touch OSC template. Thanks for watching and thanks for all of the questions and comments. I appreciate them and I do read them. I've got a long list of questions to answer uh, over the next several weeks. So thanks for that. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe to check out whatever's coming next with Touch OSC. And also, if you haven't already joined that amazing Facebook group of Touch OSC template makers, be sure to check them out too. Thanks for watching.